Hey guys, uh, we're in Massachusetts. Um, I'm out here with Mike, and we're gonna go around this whole church from 1721. Um, we just got permission from the treasurer of the church. Uh, we'll get back to you if we uh, get anything. I'm out here with uh, Paul today in uh, Oxford. Been out of it for a couple weeks. I uh, decided to take a course in uh, filming with this camera because everything's upside down when I do it. So uh, I think he did an introduction where we're at, but I'll, uh, I'll get back to you if I find anything. All right, first two finds, but shallow finds is a clad dime and a clad penny. Uh, try to get some deeper targets around here. Okay, get back to you, see what else we might get out of here. All right, guys, uh, still nothing real, real good yet. Um, Got this piece of brass pipe, piece of iron, just getting really a bunch of clad. You know, nothing real, real deep. Some of them actually bend down a little bit deep where I'm thinking, well, maybe some silver and stuff, but just modern clad. Just basically some quarters, dimes, and pennies. All right, we'll keep going around here and see if we can get some, maybe some silver out of here. Well, next target, guys. So close, but yet so far, 65 quarter. Missed it by one year. All right, well, we're gonna keep going. All right, guys, um, it's basically been nothing but clad. I've just been pulling tons of quarters and dimes and pennies. I think I got one nickel. Uh, I finally got something different. Got this little uh, star badge thing here Alamo Ranger Kevin oh uh, it's made out of that's brass or not uh, that's a little different instead of the clad and the pin's still on it all right let's see what else we might get around here all right next target guys some old handle to something. I don't know if it went to like a door or a window. Brass on the end. And that steak pot's just stale all rusted out but the end's all brass. Yeah, I'm not sure what that went to. Like I said, it's definitely a handle for something to turn something. Alright, let's see what else we can get out of here. It's been a while. Um, since I sh shot any video, but like I said, all it's been is basically like clad. A bunch of like dimes and quarters, and pennies. Nothing old though. Um, still even haven't got a weed out of here, which I'm very surprised. Alright, let's see what else. Hopefully we can get a silver or something out of here. Okay, next target. Just still on the clad roll. Another clad dime. Uh, I believe this is what you call a mercury 1917 uh, dime if I can focus in pretty excited about this one let's see here anyways uh, we'll get a better shot towards the end there you go 1917 pretty sweet alright we'll get back to you with anything else alright still clad of the church here uh, nickel can't believe all the clad pulling out of here. Well, I suppose it's better than pull tabs. Continuing with the clad quarter. Well, at least the clad's adding up, I guess. Another clad quarter. Geez, I'll be able to get a couple of things on the dollar menu at McDonald's with all this clad. Okay, let's keep going. All right, I've been here for a while and I haven't uh, reported on anything, just a lot of clad. I just found, uh, looks like parts to a, a watch. I'm gonna look in the surrounding area to see if I can't find more of it, but it doesn't look like it's anything too terribly fancy. All right, we'll get back to you with anything else. 
All right, guys, Mike's still going at it out there. I'm just taking a little break in the shade. This is my uh, handful of clad so far. I can't believe just the modern clad coming out of here. Probably the most clad I've gotten out of one place. Like I said, I'd be able to get a couple of things on the dollar menu. I'm very, very surprised there isn't more old coins unless this place has been hit. You know, it's possible. You know, but like I said, they would have been passing up these coins too that are still giving good signals because I'm getting quarters and dimes besides the pennies and nickels. But very, very surprised there's not more silver or anything out of here. Cause like I said, the church um, is from 1721, so very old church. All right, well, hopefully, we'll see. If not, maybe we'll look for somewhere else to go and try. All right, me and Mike's going to try. There's just a little bit of area right next door to the church. This was a old high school in town. Like, I think it was from, like, the 1920s or teens it's right across from the church we we're at just a little bit of area we're just gonna see if we get anything out of here okay we'll let you know all right yeah we didn't stay over at that school over there too much there was irrigation over there so we didn't want to accidentally hit anything uh, we tried a little bit on that strip between um, Main Street and the old church just pulled a um, couple of clads, might grab some um, pull tabs, bottle cap out of there. But like I said, very, very surprised at this old church we didn't pull anything out. I mean, you look at that date from this church, 1721 from this church, but like I said, we, we didn't get nothing out of here. Just a bunch of like modern clad. Alright, uh, we're gonna see. Maybe we'll find somewhere else. Alright, we're back at the house. Um, like I said, I'm very surprised at that church me and Mike went to from is it 1721. Yeah. I just cannot believe we didn't get more old coins out of there from how old it was. Um, but Mike's trash piles right there. He's got a lot of bottle caps and pull tabs and some rusty nails. Looks like a 22 shell. There, yeah, a little leftover super glue. And on his clad, uh, he's got five quarters, seven dimes, two nickels, nine memorial pennies. And on the good coins he got, that these are basically the only two good coins we got today, was he's got a 41 wheat penny, and he's got the um, 1917 Merc dime, which looks in really good shape. Yeah, like I said, those are the only two old coins that we got out of there. Very surprised. Then he's got this part piece of um, a watch looks like that looks like the little winder thing in the gear thing and I ended up just scoring a bunch of clad it's probably the most clad I got out of one area I got um, 11 quarters 21 dimes 4 nickels and 33 memorial pennies um, this is that handle thing it's steel rusty steel there but the end of its brass I don't know what that went to and this was the only other decent thing I pulled this old badge to pin on the back um, I don't know if that's brass or not but it came out really clean still looks good and there's my um, trash pile over there just the iron and some aluminum um, a screw. I'm, I'm surprised I only got one pull tab. I told Mike I basically only got like four, four or five fifties 
like signals which basically comes up on the pull tabs on the AT Pro and only one was that and the other four ended up being nickels. That doesn't happen too much. I was very surprised about that. Um, there's a couple other spots we're going to check. We went to an old house today but nobody was home so we're going to try again and try to get permission there. We do have permission at an old farmhouse that we're going to try to get to one of these days and there's another old house in that same town that we're in today that we're going to maybe stop there too see if we can get into that property too all right we'll see you next time we're out